Hi everyone, I am Ganesh from 3rd year Computer Science Department. I am going to explain about Network Topologies. Topology can be defined as the structure of the network or how all the components are interconnected to each other. Topology is derived from two Greek words, topo and logi, which means place and study. In computer networks, topology is used to explain how a network is physically connected and the logical flow of information in the network. Topologies can be broadly classified into two main types, physical and logical topologies. Coming to the types of topology, the physical topology is further classified into six main types. They are bus topology, ring topology, star topology, mesh topology, tree topology and hybrid topology. Thank you. Hi everyone, I am Pavani from third year CSE. I am going to explain you how to establish topology. This is machine learning lab in my college and this establishment is an example for bus topology. Let us see how to establish topology. This is the patch panel and this is the switch. The patch panel and switch has different ports. The patch panel has 24 ports. The patch panel is connected to each individual system through CAT6 cable. In order to connect the patch panel and switch, we need to take 1 meter CAT6 cable. This is the input output box. It contains keystone. We have to take the CAT6 cable, connect one end of the CAT6 cable to the keystone and other end to the CPU. We have to follow the same procedure for all the systems in order to establish topology. Thank you. Hello everyone. This is Poojita from 3rd year CSC. Today, I'll show you how to establish ring topology. As you all can see, these systems are connected in ring topology this ring topology is similar to bus topology but with connected ends as you all can see let me show you how to establish ring topology in this ring topology each system is connected to its adjacent systems the data flows in unidirectional that to in clockwise direction each node receives its message from its previous systems and transfers to its next node. In this way, data flows in unidirectional and there is no termination end between the nodes since each system is connected to its adjacent systems. The most common accessing method in ring topology is token passing. Token is a frame that circulates around the network. The disadvantage of this ring topology is that if one station breaks down, it leads to the failure of overall network. The advantage of this ring topology is that it is cost effective since its installation is very easy. Hi friends, I am Shawn Kumar from CSC of Ace Engineering College. Today I would like to demonstrate how to establish a star connection. In star network topology, all the nodes are connected to a central device and the central device may be a hub or a switch. Now I will show you how to establish a star connection. We have used the switch as a central device. We have to take LAN cables and connect one end of the LAN cable to the think lens of the system and the other end to the switch. In star topology, the central device acts as a server and the remaining nodes acts as the clients. When a switch receives a packet from connecting node, it transfers the packet to all other connecting nodes in the network. Switch transmits data to an intended receiver after reading the address of the destination node and the mode of transmission is unicasting. The advantages of star topology are connecting multiple devices, low chances of data collisions and it also avoids point-to-point -point connections. The major drawback of the star topology is if the failure of the central device occurs then it leads to the failure of the whole network. The applications of star topology are it can be used in educational institutions and banking sectors. Thank you.